You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian? Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no eyes, no eye. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. Rain again. Damn, mages. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sit me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit this stupid much later. Come on. Come on in. Slowly now, let's debate. Me. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a meat who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound, at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. The pawn said a fever took her. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss and burn another hag. 
But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbours. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. They know they could have folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white birth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Or do they care about some dwarf? Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Murderer mm. dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from Murder one wall to the other. Repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Eyes. Humanoid. Completely rotten. Fabian used it. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. He told me to say the main door will be open for you. You are to come as soon as you can. I just can't <laughs> Hey, handsome. Brazier, this time of year? Man's footprint. The murderer's maybe. Grab him! his heel, human. Nah, Took a step past oh, us. Watch him, see what he does. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Well, what are you staring? 
Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid hoe in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back, her assailant retreated, and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something, started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. Trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Oh, the head's ringing. What do you want? Welcome, Master Witcher. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. By the way, you and Von Grads don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue. 
wear none the care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. He even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seemed sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in the room. We need to hurry. Well, well, another thing. seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Between your eyes! 
Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire. Only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but... Usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Another empty formaldehyde bottle. Something unusual. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs, but she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Older one, I can see it in your face. Other wild. Want a bite? Care to tell me? Hey, handsome. Ooh. Hey, watch it. <laughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though. Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. What, no foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That's impossible. He treats him corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy.
run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah well, this conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. I last fought a Witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would have survived. Better, right? Y yes Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah, the witcher's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Geralt? Sorry, Geralt. My throat's still quiet. Say no more. Get well soon. Yes, Geralt? Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hubert told me about your past. Even more vivid than I'd assumed. 
I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university? Died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price. Even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Farewell. Give a small jar of glamour. <laughs> Geralt, greetings. Come now, darling, don't be shy. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way, upstairs. Which your Geralt? Up you go. Boss has been waiting. <laughs> Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Falker planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder too. Comparing yourself to Falker? For as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovids. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. Thought about what you said. That Triss and Yen would never be safe as long as Radovid was alive. You better believe it. Well, I'm pleased we've arrived at an understanding. To the matter at hand. I believe you know my associate. Roach, you here? Retired intelligence operatives. We have a club. Defended a king once. Ready to assassinate another now? Not proud of it, yet. I considered all the options and found none better. Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him. Support his troops. 
Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. All right. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? He's traveling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler. That's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar, most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint. With a man there who should know more, who calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redania's king? Ah, <sighs> you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine. I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you coming? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. No one. Nerves getting the better of you. I'm not nervous, just cautious. A trait you ought to nurture as well. I know, and I am. Wound about the streets for a time to lose any tales. I've worked in intelligence as long as you have. I need no lessons in spycraft. Looking for Gregor. You found him. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Dijkstra sent me. Been expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right, a Pella from a village nearby, gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left, accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offenses? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king, wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road. Aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. Kind of hmm. Cart doesn't look damaged. Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out. Where to go? <laughs> I 
A shoe. Something tells me I'm on the right trail. Wonder where its wearer is. What's he doing here? Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here you did grow. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no wrong. Oh, anger gets Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Findering of great Og Pog. Human Finder on big suited cart. Suited big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Ogpog man's cover to take. They're over. Do you eat him? Nah, no. Body man's. Stringy man's. Blah. Oggy make man's suited make. For Ogpog and Rog suited make. You even need shoes? Shoes is on whom is it? Shoes is once Og, Pog, and Rog. Big lords trollers be. Like whom is it? So long. Troll cave must be nearby. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend of God! A wheeze in soup throw! I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right true that. Just look at the plowing bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, gentle trolls, our time I traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Don't let no go. Tell her shit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes is me. I can see you've made friends. But Tyler needs to come with me. Blood nowhere Tyler go. Tyler shoes is mix. But I need him. Talash here stay. You shoes is got. Og shoes is got not. Rug got not. Pug got not. Tala shoes is make. Tala go. Now 
let's all stay calm. Taller will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll, uh, get some leather for your shoes. <laughs> Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pock for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now pricks. Mmm. Dala go. But back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. Gotta admit, you have a way with the ball. Never thought of having children. Children aren't trolls, and vice versa. Besides, witches are sterile. Ah, you've not changed a bit. Still tart as rotting rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through, or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Geralt. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? Hey, tell ya. Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. <sighs> be that way. How'd you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the Black Ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy, and you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, oh, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul, and blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Mike? That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mate sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain, one in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach, and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate, I plow in calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own, so blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. So long, Taller. And good luck. Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovid's one crafty oar with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. 
careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell. Life treating you all right? Eh, uh, bit like a potato beetle. I keep quiet, stay out of trouble, and live on fucking potatoes. It's been a while. Fill me in. Nilfgaard fucking dismantled the Temerian Secret Service in one night. I barely escaped with me life. Proceeded to drown my sorrows till my liver screamed bloody murder. What do you do now? Grassroots work. I hang about the area, watching, listening, asking questions, and recruiting new agents. Farewell. Yeah, I do. Most of the fucking time, thanks. Farewell. Yeah, I do. Most of the fucking time, thanks. Must be Honorton. Village from the notice. Except, it's awful quiet. Necrophages. Great. apart. Can't say what killed him, though. Sword wounds. Somebody's well off. Especially for Velen. A Leshen's head. Chopped off with a sharp knife. Well, well. Somebody beat me to it. Shallow, but each hit an artery. Bolt snapped in Damn it. What now, you piece of hell? Pitchfork. Dangerous weapon at close quarters. Arm severed above the elbow with one blow. Imperial mustache, plump cheeks, important man. Cause of death, stab wound. Blade between the ribs, straight to the heart. Holding something. Silver chain, snapped, ripped it off someone. Something odd about this. Might find more clues in the village. Blood. Mixed with something. That smell. Alcohol. Earthball. The wolf's bane. The potion. This blood didn't come from a peasant. I like that silver.
cut sliced open. Probably died defending its owner. First cut severed the aorta, second hit the femoral artery. He died quickly, didn't put up a fight. Hey, wait! Damn it. A doll, and a child's footprints. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Calm down. Just want to talk to you. Leave me be! Killer! Murderer! I got it wrong. I'm... You've killed eyes! Same as him! That's because I'm a witcher. I kill monsters. Said the same, Saturn! And you see what he done? Did he have two swords? On his back. No telling you nothing. Go away. Huh. This doll yours, maybe? It is. He got a name? Master Freckleface. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty. G give him to me. Please. Doubt Master Freckleface would be much help on the path, so... Here. Now, think you could tell me what happened here? I need to know. Poor oh, Woods. They was haunted. Some spook. Uncle Silvermere said we best fetch a witcher. See so one came. Look, looks like you, but... There were evil in his eyes. He forced the spook's head set. Uncle Silvermere weren't happy about something. He yelled and he cursed. And then he went to the barn and and <laughs> see to this bad man. Stay put and keep quiet. Understood? Sit tight, kid. If he went off towards the circle, that'd be the place to start. The stone circle. Need to look around. Footprints. Barely visible. Must be him. Still 
fresh. He's close. Something. Come all that way to give me my medallion? Thanks. Craft Solidarity is alive and well. <laughs> but our craft's reputation is on its last legs. Folk won't easily forget that massacre. Occupational hazard. Could have happened to any one of us. Well, what are you still doing here? I want to chat first, then we'll see. Take your seat. I'll stand. Now talk. Honorton, what happened? Come on, you know what happened. Know what they wanted to pay me for the lesson? Go on, guess. Fifty. Ha <laughs> ha, if only. Twelve. Understand, pal? Twelve fucking crowns. Barely covers my potion ingredients. What did you agree to? That several times over. But when it came time to pay up... You know the routine. Oh, good sir, me young'uns are starving. There's a war on. Gods have mercy. Show some pity. Rings a bell. But that's no reason to kill. I'm not finished. told them I wouldn't show pity. And if I didn't see gold, they'd wish they had the lesson back. They got these grim looks. Then the alderman spoke. Calm now, Master Witcher. Me and the lads, we hid some gold in the barn so as the Baron's men wouldn't take it. Come, you'll get your coin right quick. I fell for it, like a fool. One of them chattered on while another jabbed me in the back with a pitchfork. How the hell did you survive that? Pitchfork wounds are bad. Know that all too well. I turned at the last instant. Prongs went in shallow, at an angle. Missed my lungs. I admit, I lost my temper. Lost it bad. I'm used to shit bounties, to the cheating to then begging me for help, and then spitting as I pass. But murder me? Just to save a few crowns? I'm supposed to protect horses like that? So I drew steel. I didn't sheathe it till the ground was slick with blood. The girl. Why'd you spare her? Cause... It doesn't matter. Wouldn't have asked if it didn't talk reminded me of my sister how I remember her from just before they took me away to the school of the cat how is she now died about ten years ago of old age well we've had our little heart to heart witcher to witcher what now Ultimately, it's not my job to judge you. That's it? Not gonna lecture me? Make me promise to mend my ways? They call me the Butcher of Blaviken, for good reason. I know how it is. Sometimes... Sometimes heads just roll. Wait. 
I'm no cheap prick like those hayseeds. I owe you something. Here, directions to my stash. Take what you want. Thanks. No, thank you. Good luck on the path, Wolf. Get back to the kid before something else sniffs her out. You're back! I thought thought you'd not return. That he'd hurt you too. I'm fine. And you don't need to worry about him anymore. So so you'll take me to my auntie's? It's it's awful here. Sure thing. Let's go. could ride on your shoulders. Hmm. <laughs> so long as you promise not to pull my hair. I promise. Then hop on up. doing here, you naughty girl? I... cause... back in the village... there's no... I'll explain. You run along and play a bit, alright? There was a massacre in Honorton. No survivors. Well... Except her. The gods. What happened? A bandit attack? No, a... Another witcher did it. Villagers provoked him. They speak true of you lot. Heartless and cruel. Murderers all! Not all. You'll look after her? Truth be told, you'd do better to take her with you. What? You call me a murderer and want to entrust a child to me? Ye shan't lead her around with an empty belly. There's that. Got four of me own grandkids. Used to be six, but we buried two last winter. Hard to live off naught but bark soup. Take this. Use it for food, and only food, if I come back and see you drinking. So much. The gods reward ye, Master Witcher, a thousand blessings. Time I was on my way. No? But, but why? Witcher's lot in life. Always on the road, on the path. Will you come back and see me sometime? Hope so. Take care, kid. Millie! Come, child. We'll buy a bit of flour. Your aunt will whip up some pancakes. Sound good to ye? 